All right, so now I wanna show you what it looks like if you installed the sensor and maybe you were holding it compressed or for some reason it was outside of its sensing range, not just its like setup range, but the sensing range is between like 500 and 1500. And we'll, I'll just show you what it looks like if you had it just totally smashed together, uh, what the gauge is gonna do and how to fix that. So we'll go ahead and loosen our clamp up. Like this would be like a, you, you fire it up and it says no sensors found. That's not the only reason, you know, it could say no sensors found because the wiring wasn't done right. Uh, or, you know, there's a break in the wire somewhere. Um, maybe you haven't done all the sensors yet. You know, if you're just doing one, you want to make sure you do like, if you got the three axle, you want to make sure you do all three before you do any of this, because it has to detect every sensor for it to show a weight. Um, so, okay, so we'll take the cover off here and I'm going to loosen these two set screws and just show you what it looks like when it gets out of its range. So we'll go down, so it's starting to fall. And once it hits 500, it's probably gonna go crazy. So I got below 300 and now it's tightened down. I don't hear it ringing anymore and it's kind of stuck. It's at 724.02, it's not moving. That's that's kind of a telltale sign if it's not moving a tiny, tiny bit, it's not actually doing anything. So now when I cycle the power on the gauge, you know, it's showing me this kind of frozen number. Every time you turn the gauge on, it re-stands for sensors. So it tries to say, okay, how many sensors are there? Are there one, are there two, are there three? Okay, there's two. How many should I expect? Am I a two sensor gauge? You know, if, it, if, it, if it's a two sensor gauge and it finds two, it says, okay, cool. No error messages, we're gonna display a weight. So in this case, it's going to find the one that's in here, and it's going to not find this one, so it's going to say that there's a problem. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. It's going to try to find them, and it's going to say sensor one not found. So we've got sensor one, zero. So now, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but to fix this, you check your wiring and all that kind of stuff, and then come in here and just loosen these up, the two set screws. If you just loosen them up, to where that sensor is kind of floating in there. You'll get it to come back. I can hear it ringing now. So now to check again, we just turn the gauge off and back on and it'll try to rescan and it's gonna give us a wait. So now we're back in our sensing range and we can go ahead and, and set it to the right tension. You know, So we wanted it down a little bit, kind of in the six, 675, that's good. So we'll Torque that down and see where it lands. 712, perfect. Put our cover on. Looks like somewhere around 722. It's not, definitely not gonna go over 750, so we're good to go.